joining me right now, a very special guest. He's also taking your calls, Lou Ferrigno. This is Jackson's decades-long friend, his fitness guru. And many of you may know Ferrigno as the Incredible Hulk. And he's stuck with Jackson for many, many years. Lou Ferrigno, again, thank you for being with us. Describe for me the last time you saw Jackson. What happened? Well, the last time I saw Michael Jackson went uh, about two and a half weeks before because I was leaving to go on a tour for motivational speaking, and he hugged me, and he said, take care of yourself. I said, Michael, I'm going to see you within about 10 days. He said, take care of yourself. I love you. It gave me a funny feeling because I knew something was wrong because he was under tremendous pressure, and that kind of uh, really concerned me. Lou Ferrigno, when you say he was under tremendous pressure, what do you mean? I mean that he was in debt for like $400 million, and he needed more time to train for the tour. He had a lot of pressure. He had all the, he had the family behind him. He was rehearsing. He was doing voice lessons and the training. I just think that because he wanted to make the greatest comeback, that he had so much pressure on himself, and I think his body just gave out because it was just too much. It was too much for a short period of time. You know, I'm just thinking about but what I, you're but saying, I, but, uh, but, Lou. Go ahead. I think that, and I was going to say that he was, a, he was going to be in phenomenal shape. Um, he, he was very attentive, very alert, and I was with him. He did everything I told him what to, what to do exactly, and he was very determined. He was planning to make a, a, a tremendous comeback, and he was very, very positive, and he, he was the happiest I've ever seen him. Well, Lou Ferrigno, exactly what were you telling him to do? What kind of training were you giving him? Well, he was doing a lot of uh, core training. I had a, uh, I went to his house, as a matter of fact. He used to come to my house years ago, but apparently because of the family, he needed to sleep late. So we did a lot of core exercises with the ball, very light band, weight training. He wanted to develop his shoulders more. He wanted to have more of that feet taper because he wanted to come back as the new Michael. Mm -hmm. And he wanted to restructure his whole body. So I designed a routine for him. And basically, he did everything I told him what to do because he trusts me and you trust anybody else because I knew his body well. Well, let me ask you this, Lou. Did you ever see him without his clothes? Yeah, that's a good question because when I trained him, sometimes we would do cardio. He would come downstairs with a suit, a tuxedo suit, pants, and a white T-shirt. So after we did 10 or 15 minutes of cardio, he would take the jacket off, and he looked great. He, he may be uh, maybe a few pounds lighter, but uh, his skin looked great. He looked great. Um, and I stretched him out like maybe two or three inches for him on the floor, stretching him out. And he looked fine. I mean, basically, sometimes he had a shirt off. Okay, he looked, so he like you, you never be. saw him without his clothes? And I saw him. He, had, he took the jacket off. I saw him with a T-shirt. Sometimes he had a shirt off. Okay. Because he was, he was warming up. He was sweating. 